All right. Good morning. Good evening to some. This is your brother Daniel. Blessing to all of you. It's not going to be a long video today. I know I haven't been on in a while. But you know, I was just talking to talking to a brother as well. And uh, I've been noticing something. And I'm really, really curious to hearing y'all opinion. You know, on this. But I've been just feeling something. Really the last the last three weeks, right? Okay, so I've said it many, many times, y'all y'all know y'all know my background. And but here's the feeling I'm getting. Around this time every year, right? You would get out of training camp. And when you would get out of training camp, you would start to see people get nervous, right? Because as we call it, the fat getting ready to get skimmed. Which means people's getting ready to get cut. And you can see people, like the tension starting to rise up, like the air start to get more thick, like it get, it get tense. And um, so all you could do as a player, when that time come, was make sure that you on your A game, right? And when you on your A game, you understand that if I'm on my A game, I'm helping the team, right? Because a lot of people will be like, oh, well, it's all about the team. Yeah, it's all about the team, but for me to help the team, I gotta make sure I'm right, right? I gotta make sure I'm on it. So, this last three weeks to a month per se, I've been getting that feeling a lot. I've been getting that feeling to where it's like the fat is getting skimmed, man. It's getting cut up. Dead weight is starting to fall off. And I've been feeling it. Um, and I've been feeling it in this walk in the way, right? And what I've been seeing, you know, is when you see people falling off. Tension starting to rise a little bit. Like you can feel it. People leaving the ministry. People getting kicked out of the ministry. You know, warnings being sent all out and all over the place. You know, from pastor and from the elders. And you can see the seriousness that is getting elevated. Because one thing about this ministry, this ministry straightway truth ministry has always from at least from what i've seen has always been very serious about yah's business and that's why i love it here and what i'm starting to see though is like i said the warnings are going out the rebuke and all it does for me is number one encourages me But it also says to me, Daniel, keep getting your house in order. Keep getting it in order. Step your game up. Make sure you're right. Why? Because if I make sure I'm right, I know I'm helping all of Israel. I know that I'm being a blessing to my brothers and sisters. I'm not sitting stagnant. Because we all know the saying, right? If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. You can't stay the same. There's no staying the same. And if that's in the natural, which we see all the time, that there's no staying the same, I mean, think about the spiritual side. Think about being in Yah. That's one thing I really, really, really thank the Father for and I really appreciate about Pastor as well is he don't stay stagnant. He constantly moving forward. He constantly elevating in whatever he's doing. And it's driving us, the saints, especially the men, to take this thing to another level. Same thing with Elder Rufus, right? Elder Rufus, stay serious. Stay on it. And that thing be challenging me. Because I'm like, man, I got to get, I got to constantly be, I got to make sure I'm on point. Because one thing I know is this ministry here gonna love you enough to tell you the flat out truth. They're gonna tell you if you're messing up. They're gonna tell you if you ain't on it. 
And I really just thank the Father for it. But as I was saying before, I'm just really, really noticing the fat is getting skimmed. The dead weight is falling off. It's like it's like y'all is purging the mess out of his people. He he's like look, he he is separating this thing, man. Separating it. And obviously, me being young in the faith, young to this walk, you know, I'm that's what I'm feeling. So I can't even imagine what the elders is feeling, what pastors feeling. The sense of urgency, it's like it's 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 going through the roof. It's going through the roof in my life. Like this sense of urgency, like man, we got to get right. We got to get right now. Like it's going through the roof. I do thank the Most High for His patience, but at the same time, it's like, okay, what are you gonna do with it? You know. That's why, man, I just, like I said, I just, I think the best thing we can continue to do is, is to make sure we write, especially the men that will hear this message, make sure our households are right. Take the direction from the leadership. Take the direction from pastor. Take the direction from the, from the elders, from the deacons. Take the directions. I mean, even last night, look, listening to teacher Shane on the brother segment, about faith and moving in I'm just like man like this is just motivating me because the fat is getting skimmed stuff is getting exposed left and right and it's like man we can't we can't we just can't play around so like I said it's not gonna be a long video at all I just want to hear from y'all tell me if y'all feeling this same thing you know tell me if you feeling it tell me if you've been feeling it a while tell me if it's normal to feel this to somebody that's more seasoned that's been around this thing for a lot longer you know that's been around this walk as pastor always says what saith you shalom to you